gonna have a story time really quick. Just like <sighs> Do I have a rant for y'all? Okay, so let's get started. Today, you know, I'm driving. What do cars need to run? Gas. I went and I got gas so my car can run. Okay, you guys, you guys see where this is going. Very simple activity, very normal, like, People have to go and get gas, right? As I am getting gas, I am outside of my car, filling up my tank, just minding my own business, and a car pulls into the gas station. It is very loud. Like, you know this kind of cars I'm talking about that are like, <laughs> you know, you know, it was just a loud car. So I turn around and I look at it. That's all I did. I just looked at the car. Apparently, this gives a guy permission to roll down his window and start yelling at me. And girls, if you have ever been in this position, and I can guarantee you every single girl watching this has been, you know what he's yelling. Like, hey girl, hey baby, ooh, you looking good today, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Like, stupid shit that girls don't need to hear while they're pumping gas. Like, no, I don't care if you think I'm cute. I don't... Like, I don't want to hear it. I proceed to ignore him. I just, you know, and I just keep pumping my gas. Because no, I don't want to be talked to like that right now. So, <laughs> this man continues to pull in front of my car. Not get gas. He just pulls in front of my car and he parks his car right there and doesn't move. I continue to ignore him. I avoid eye contact and he doesn't move. And so, after like a few like probably 30 seconds of him just just sitting there with his car running window down yelling at me I leave my gas leave my gas tank and I go and I sit in my car and I just lock the door and I just stare at him like I'm not moving <laughs> so give it a couple minutes and he eventually drives away so I think I'm good right right <laughs> well wrong he pulls out to this one exit and after I'm after he goes away, I think he's gone. I get out of my car, I put away the gas, whatever, and I look at the exit. It's been like three minutes. Homeboy is still just sitting at the exit. He's not leaving, he's just sitting there. I'm like, cool, <laughs> that's great. Like, we're not in a populated area, like this is great. So I get in my car, I lock the doors, I turn on the ignition really fast and I go to the opposite exit at the other side of the building. If you're a girl, you probably already know where this is going, which is sad, but I pull out of that exit and I look at my rearview mirror and he pulls out of that other exit and he starts following me. And I'm just like, dude, like get the picture. And he doesn't stop following me for a couple blocks before I keep interweaving between traffic. And I think he knew I saw him. And he finally left. But, like, what bothers me so much about this scenario, okay, it's not even the fact that it happened, even though it does bother me that it happens, but the fact that when I was trying to explain it to someone, like, I, I told him, like, because guys never seem, like, when you're trying to explain it to any guy whatsoever, like, it's normal for girls. It's normal for girls to feel uncomfortable getting out of the car in certain places or going for a walk or even if you're just walking to class, you know you're going to get looked at in a certain way or people are going to make some sort of stupid comment or th people are just going to yell stuff at you and you're just going to have to ignore it. And like, that's just sad. <laughs> I hate that that's how today's society is because when I was explaining it to him, he was getting all worked up and all mad. And in the back of my mind, I was like, yeah, but this happens to people like all the time. And sometimes like it's 10 times worse. Like he didn't come close to me. You know what I'm saying? It's infuriating that girls still have to feel this way because it's such a normal thing. Please. Okay. This is what I'm, I want every single boy out there who watches this to just start watching your friend's actions and watching your own actions when you're around girls who you might think are attractive. Whether you realize it or not, you at one point in your life have probably made some girl feel uncomfortable just by walking past you. And that is 
so unfortunate and wrong and just it's so bothersome but girls today can't can't go to the gas station without getting yelled at can't take their dog on a walk without having people honk at them or yell stuff out the car at them or can't go to the club without so <sighs> we can't go to the club without knowing some guy's gonna grab our butt like girls you know what's gonna happen and you guys are gonna get mad at you if some guy touches your butt but you're like it's gonna happen which is infuriating girls shouldn't have to be worried about what we dress like all the time <laughs> at all like if a guy was at a gas station like i'm just wearing a tank top if a guy was at a gas station shirtless no way in hell would i ever sit out my car and yell at him about how sexy i think he is like no that's just abs one it's absurd two it's obnoxious three it's rude four it's disgusting and objectifying and i have so many words for this and it's just it drives me crazy and it drives me crazy that girls have to feel like this is normal and it drives me crazy that when girls try to explain it to guys guys don't get that it's normal and they make they say things like yeah but you can avoid it or like it's not our fault like that's how we were raised like we're just being boys like, no, be better than that. Don't be a boy, be a man, and treat girls with respect, and girls will treat you with respect. We're all just humans, and that's what we should, that's how we should treat each other. <sighs> there needs to be a lot more awareness of how you treat girls in public, because, like, it's, it's disgusting, and it's sad that we have to worry about what we're wearing every two seconds. No, I'm just... I don't even need, like, I, I feel the need to rationalize my thoughts right now and they don't even need to be rationalized because it's just stupid that I even have to feel this way or any girl in particular. Girls, right now, please comment down below any harassment you've ever experienced out in public by a guy and how, when the last time it was, because I can guarantee you, like, everyone watching this has had at least one experience this last week. I just, this is a social experiment. I'm putting this out there. <laughs> I guess what I'm just trying to say is, girls, we don't deserve this. And boys, if you are watching this, please start becoming more aware of your actions towards any girls, whether you know them or not, because they deserve to be respected and they don't deserve to be treated like objects that are there for your desire or to fulfill some sort of eye candy role for you like that's just wrong welcome to my ted talk <laughs> and thank you for listening to my rant okay i'm gonna um stop yelling at you but okay bye <sighs>